Hey everyone, I'm making a video today to discuss uh, what to do with the candidate standings um, and we'll discuss the uh, situation which is basically that seven of the games uh, were not completed. Um, these were uh, all against King Switcher who only uh, completed four out of the 11 games. Um, so I'll start by saying, um, you know, an initial condition of, of payment of prize money was upon completion of all games um, so as not to disadvantage the seven players who who were making an effort or making greater effort than, than King Switcher to play their matches uh, throughout the duration of the tournament um, they will still be entitled to their full allocation of prize money um, and to still acknowledge the effort King Switcher has made um, you know I think it's still fair to provide King Switcher with four Eleventhths of of his prize allocation as well. That that seems to be the fairest. Um, but what remains is that you know um, a lot of players didn't have the opportunity to play their full set of games, um, and of course that's not fair when some players got to play their their full um, set of matches. Um, so look, there's there's not really a a perfect solution. I'll start by saying that I think. Um, any kind of decision making from here can have flaws um, picked at it um, and uh, you know, that, that's fine um, but yeah I, I was just going to talk through at least um, what my approach was you know I've heard some people say well if you don't um, complete the majority of matches you don't include them or you know what about forfeiting them all but uh, neither of them really seem fair I mean if, if you're you know one of the four players chicken crossroad Jisugi 99 penguin or the finisher that's completed your full set of matches I think that's fair that they should all stand and and king switch's results should also stand um, now a 10 nil forfeit for those that didn't get to play King Switcher um, isn't really fair because those that did play and had 9-1 results, 8-1, 8-2 results, um, you know, they then get overtaken by those that didn't play at all. So, um, what I'm what I'm deciding to proceed with is a method of estimation um, of how these scores will have gone, which is based um, exclusively and objectively only on the scores that have. Uh, been actually completed um, and, and that way it's it's mathematically based and uh, you know you know it's 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 fair because it's it's based on your performance um, in the candidates and this, I'm making this video because I thought it'd be easier to explain it on video rather than write it up so um, yep if you found yourself here it's probably because I've, I've given you a link to to this so let's get started so um, we're, what we need to do is basically say for each of the seven players that King Switcher did not get to play, uh, we need to estimate how many points King Switcher would have won against each particular opponent. And the way I'm looking at that is I'm going to say, well, King Switcher has played four um, players, and based on the performance of how King Switcher has played, we, he won 10 games. Um, in total against Chicken Cross, Roger Sugi 99, Penguin and the Finisher. We're going to estimate, based on winning 10 games, how much would he have won against Art of Deception, Bugzilla, GSVC, etc. So I'll walk through the process for, for just one player um, and then basically it will be the same process that, that estimates the remaining of the results. So I'm going to go to um, one of these tabs and and I've made this available on the publicly viewed um, uh, scoreboard uh, the, 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 so uh, this this is completely transparent for everyone that's also part of this um, you know it's it's taken me a bit of time because I wanted to check the numbers but of course everything's transparent so if I've made a mistake somewhere somebody can point that out too um, and for those that are interested in mathematics and just what the approach was, um, I think this is important for them. So let's just talk through how we would estimate Art of Deception score against King Switcher. Um, these, these are some of the numbers I've pulled out. So what was Art of Deception's points overall out of the 10 opponents he did play, which excludes King Switcher, um, and that was 28.5. Now, there are four opponents of King Switcher, that's one category of players that complete all the matches, Chicken, Jasugi, Penguin and the Finisher. Art of Deception scored 11 against them, and then for the other six opponents, 
uh, it was 17 and a half. Okay, so that's just some good info to know. Now, where the estimation comes is actually from the performance of these six players, Bugzilla, GSVC, Master Tan, Mugwort, Variants Only, and Juanet, um, because they have played, um, each of those six players has played the four opponents of King Switcher, and they've also played the Art of Deception. So we'll see how did they perform against um, against uh, the four opponents that King Switcher played, and use that as an aggregate estimate of um, uh, you know how they've performed against Art of Deception. Well, it's not an estimate. You can see how they actually performed against them. So that's where this this thing comes uh, into play. So we say total wins against Art of Deception made by other six opponents, which is this list here, and that's 42 and a half. So that's basically just um, there's there's six six matches of 10 games each, so it's 60 minus um, minus 17.5. And you can check out the formulas in in the top left hand box if you want to on the actual sheet. Um, and these same six players scored a total of 87 and a half points against the four players that played against King Switcher. So hopefully you can follow me here. So that's, you know, the Bugzilla, GSVC, Master 10, Mugwort, Variant, Sony, and Juanet. As total, they scored against these four players, 87 and a half. And where that leads us to is it says, well, if you make a proportion of actual wins against Art of Deception based on the performance against the four opponents of King Switcher, um, you get to 48.57%. Uh, and where we're using that proportion is to say, based on the actual scores that King Switcher had against the same four opponents, you would have got 10. So we assume you'd get 48.5% of 10 against Art of Deception. That's basically how the logic flows. That gets you to a 49 which rounded to the closest half point is five. And so this is the exact same process um, that um, has been conducted for each of the other players. And there's a separate tab for each of the players. You'll see at the bottom, it's got estimate, KS versus Bugzilla, KS versus GSVC, etc. cetera. Um, and you know, I, I feel this is a, a reasonable objective process. It's not, you know, overly complicated. It's just basically straight averages. How did you go against the combination of chicken, Jasugi, penguin, and the finisher, which is how King Switcher played? And using players, as many players as we can that have played the same combination of players, we say, well, based on that performance, how would King Switcher have gone against that opponent? So in this case for Bugzilla, uh, who performed quite differently, um, relative to Art of Deception, we said the total total wins against Bugzilla made by these six players was just 18 and a half, and the total wins um, that these six players here had against these four players here was 83, um, and you'll see the percentages is much lower in this case in the estimate. It's uh, you know 22.29%. So here we say that. Um, King Switcher may have only won two games against Bugzilla. Um, so of course, look, it's it's an estimate, and, and an estimate always has a degree of error. But but this seems the fairest balance between two alternatives, which which seemed less fair, which was to completely exclude all of King Switcher's scores or to award people 10 nil forfeits. So um, yeah, we we get out of deception with. Um, King, King, King Switch would have won five points, uh, Bugzilla two, uh, GSVC two and a half, Master Tan four points, um, we've got Mugwort here three and a half, Variants only three and a half, and Juanet with four and a half. And, and you'll see that the, the relative points um, estimated to be won against the opponents is, is actually proportional to um, the performance of each of those individual players. Um, so if I just zoom back out again, I've got I've got a, another tab here called Standings with Estimates, which you'll see is complete. Um, and this has the scores uh, entered based on the the estimate sheets and their calculations, and then that completes the cross table. So 
with with no matches remaining for each player here's where the final standings played out so we actually had no change Jasugi 99 of course was going to finish first by a long way chicken crossroads still in second but um, very narrowly just by half a point GSVC 65 and a half Bugzilla then 65 um, the finisher 62 and a half so um, Based on actual scores only, I mean GSVC and Bugzilla do move ahead of the finisher. Um, and I believe it's variants only that, that will have just got above uh, Penguin GIM1. Um, and King Switcher estimated to finish just you know one and a half points ahead of Art of Deception. Um, so there you have it. That's the background to, to how the scores were calculated. Um, you're welcome to look as little or as as much as as uh, you like uh, with these spreadsheets with the publicly available um, and yeah I'm happy to also answer answer questions uh, to some extent as well but yeah do note I am I am saying you know this is not a perfect solution the perfect solution is that we have all players play their games but you know respecting that life has other priorities um, and and you know sometimes there are other things in life that are just more important than completing these matches um, we, we have to allow for that um, there's no hard feelings against King Switcher of course um, so you know we, we, we never know what's going on in someone's life um, so we shouldn't make assumptions um, there you have it um, these are the rankings Jasugi 99 First, and he went on to be champion. He's not just first candidate. He, he won against Opal Wesson in the final. Um, Chicken Crossroads, second candidate. GSVC, third candidate. Bugzilla in fourth. The finisher in fifth. Mugwort, sixth. Variants only in seventh. Penguin in eighth. Juanet in ninth. Master Tan, tenth. King Switcher, eleventh. And Art of Deception in twelfth. Um, so, yes, I'll proceed with um, distributing the prizes. Um, uh, I appreciate uh, the patience uh, that everyone's had. I uh, would have liked to have done this sooner, but um, you know, time hasn't uh, permitted me to do this, and I did want to do it uh, properly and, and make a, a short video about it so that people are informed. All right, well, we're in the new year now. We're in 2021. Um, I will shortly announce uh, what's happening for Crazy House World Championship 2021. So please stay tuned, uh, just keen to start the ball rolling a bit earlier this year than in 2020 and you'll see we, we only just finished before 2020 with the finals so um, we'll make a, a slightly earlier schedule and, and possibly a longer window for, for people to register. Um, some people came in the later months and said oh, I, I didn't hear about this, um, you know it's a shame I can't, I can't play anymore. Um, yeah, so I hope you stay safe wherever you are. Um, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye for now.